Welcome back to the channel and I think it's fair to say that mid-range PC VR has all been just abandoned for quite a few years now. I remember when I was the first person to review the HP Reverb G2 and it was such an electric time for many people because this was a headset that while it was still relatively expensive it was still within reach for most flight simmers. However, since the advent of the Quest, and then of course the Meta Quest 2 and 3, as much as we need Meta in the VR industry, and what they're doing is fantastic, rather ironically, it's also really damaging the core PC VR crowd. And unfortunately, many companies such as HTC HP and even Valve has shifted focus or at least that's what it seems like anyway. When the Reverb G2 was discontinued and then the Via Aero it's just been a rough time so I've been really hoping that one company would step up and provide a mid-range PC VR headset that still changes the game and really improves upon what we've seen before with the likes of the G2. Well, this is where I am so excited I wanted to make a separate video on the Pimax Crystal Light. This headset is going to be a big deal. I just got a good feeling and I will say this even before reviewing it. Now, of course, if it turns out to be a disaster, then I will tell you that as well. But so long as Pimax keep the core features of the crystal that are so compelling and that is the beautiful class leading display of that 2880 by 2880 QLED and local dimming panel with the spheric lenses then I'll be very happy and I'm hoping without a battery without that XR2 chipset that it's going to be more stable and less prone to just those annoying little crashes and slight bugs and problems that even I have to deal with sometimes. For instance, I sometimes get to the headset and the battery's flat or it won't turn on correctly. Those things should be a thing of the past since it will be a PC VR headset. Now in case you've got no idea what I'm talking about and you haven't seen my previous announcement video from the Pimax event, then I'll just go through the major sort of features of what is the Pimax Crystal Light. With this, you get 35 PPD lenses still, so the clarity that the crystal is known for is still there. But we have no battery here. We have no eye tracking, which is a bit of a shame actually. We still have inside out tracking. We don't have interchangeable lenses, which I'm personally not a fan of anyway. You can opt to have either a local dimming version. I would just go for the local dimming, guys. It really is fantastic. It's also 60 grams lighter. It has no IPD motors, no heatsink, no XR2 chipset. It doesn't even have any fans. But the pure, incredible image of the crystal remains. This is the headset that I am really more excited about because I know what this means to most people who are desperate for that Reverb G2 replacement. You know, the Quest 3 is a fantastic headset, but at the end of the day, it doesn't have a DisplayPort connection and it really does show. There's no doubt about that. The only thing I wished Pimax could have done here, and I think this would have increased the cost anyway, is change the housing made it slimmer because it doesn't have all of that XR2 chipset stuff going on. You see, the crystal shares the same housing as the 12K QLED, so it doesn't need to be that big. Even though it will be lighter and it will probably feel really comfortable, I think the sheer size of the headset will put people off still when they could have used this opportunity to make a different shaped version of the crystal to distinguish the fact that it is a PC VR focused light variant. But regardless, I do feel that this is big news. Bigger news, in fact, than the whole micro OLED 50 PPD variant. I'm really intrigued to try this out because a Pimax crystal with no battery 
no XR2 chipset weighing it down, no interchangeable lenses, just a pure PC VR headset with a spheric lenses and QLED technology with that resolution. That's what we all want. And Pimax have listened to that. So the price, well, it's going to start at 699 USD. Wow, that is great news. And they've added some extra features as well, including fixed favorited rendering version 2.0, which hopefully should perform even better since, of course, we don't have eye tracking here, which is a shame, but I'd imagine that's probably because it was running off the XR2 chipset. However, they've got some other interesting features of the Pimax Lite, including some really incredible options for refresh rates. You can have 60, 72, 90 and 120 hertz. You can even upscale the headset from 2160 by 2160 to the full 2880 by 2880. That's a really nice feature actually, which will help with performance. Now I am glad to say I will be one of the first to receive a Pimax Lite 4 review. Um, and so long as it's everything the crystal is, but without a battery, this could be a huge deal for Flight Sim fans, especially those who really are looking for that next leap from the Reverb G2. I believe you can now reserve your Pimax Lite. Please feel free to use my affiliated link because it's taken me forever to make this video. And of course, running a YouTube channel with a full-time job is very hard work. So if you'd like to give a bit back, I would really appreciate it. But for now, please let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this. Some very interesting news here from Pimax. Wow, so much is going on. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.